Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to Bounding into Comics. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Shonen no Abyss, aka Boys of Its, chapter 91. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And uh, I'm just a one woman and one little kitty who's somewhere. Operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads and praying to the almighty manga gods that we're not going to be uh, living on the streets somewhere. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel and myself and my little kitty alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or my reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, we're getting into something very, very interesting up in ya. Because, um, <sighs> Reiji is about to hear the truth about, um, about his parents with, from Mr. Ismori. And I feel bad for Ismori. I really do. And still got to wonder if that lover suicide that him and Yuko were really destined to do is going to happen just in a different way. <laughs> but let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this weekend. Who needs Folgers in your cup. The best part of waking up is is the gorgeous art I get to see. The, I've been getting an enormous feast for the eyes since Saturday. Passover, I cannot be at home with my family for Passover. I have been getting gorgeous, gorgeous art instead. It is definitely made up for it. Manga gods, you have been blessing me. And I continue to be blessed. Rio, this is freaking beautiful. I just can't help but think, Marvel, you put out that crap promotional for Thor Love and Thunder. This is how you do. This is how you do a promotional art. This is how you do a cover art. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. The background is fucking beautiful. The freaking art is gorgeous. Mm. <sighs> Look how pretty this is. Look at that movement in the skirt and the top. <sighs> Look at that expression. Expression in the face. The hair is moving beautifully. What did I do to deserve this? It's not even new. And I have been spoiled by so much beautiful art, including um, a new series that came out on Manga Plus. Oh my god, that art is so pretty too. Oh my god. And this chapter is titled The Day Before the Storm. Mm. Gloom and Fall. I'm going to just, I'm basking in this beautiful, gorgeous art. And people wonder why it's hard for me to watch anime. How can I watch anime when, I, when I'm when i seeing like 1084K right in front of me? Go from that to like 720 and in some cases 480. How can I do that? That, 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 that just fucks up my eyes. How am I supposed to do this? How? Look at how beautiful this is. If anime looked like this, then I could watch it and enjoy it. But it doesn't. And it sucks. This is so pretty. The new issue isn't in yet. Even the bookstore doesn't have it. Oh, fucking boonies. <laughs> Zoe? Um, Shinoka, uh, it's been since... 
It's been since we graduated high, uh, wait, it's been since we graduated middle school, so around two years. I'm also waiting for the new, um, release from that author, but it's not like anything else is coming out. It's not like Brian's got no sense. Your school library doesn't have it? Nope, what a stupid school. What about your school library? I heard Shiva, uh, girls' school, wait, I heard Shiva's, um, girls' high school has all sorts of books. The author's kind of over the line, though. Would we'll probably be too extreme for high school girls, right? It doesn't suit the school's neat traditions. So it's over the line for you to read, too, um, Shinoka. Uh, that's rich coming from you. You're the one who told me how interesting that was in middle school. Miss Zoe, I'm glad you're doing well. There she is. Look how beautiful she is. Look, how, look at page 8 right here. Look how gorgeous this is. It, it went from like so dreary to just like, oh. I love this metaphorical art so much. I'm so lucky. And then it went back. Because that's how Ismori sees Yuko. It's just... Mm. Rather than a Daimo procession, it looks like the, the procession for a courtesan. And that you gave me. I've been very frustrated. I've been very frustrated with manga that says they're going that describes something and it visually does not give me it, and it pisses me off. Let's go. Crozier's still with uh, the leader of that motorcycle gang, after all. The heir, to the, um, the heir to Minigishi construction was right on their tail. You understand why they hang out together. Ooh, does that make you bitter? Yeah. Liar! Not at all. They're birds of a feather. They belong together, don't they? You are full of shit, as Mori. But look at that sky. Symbolism of it is beautiful. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yuko, um, we're supposed to be meeting in secret. Yeah, um, you should have called out to me, um, loudly like that. Huh? I wasn't that loud, though, was I? Yuko had just turned 14. She was like a storm without direction. I guess not. She had, she only had to open her mouth or wave her hair or uh, hands, and everyone would stop and look, uh, and turn to look at her. Pardon the intrusion. What are you doing out here? I don't have anywhere to run to anymore. Since that day, we stopped going to our mom's bar, huh? And started going to each other's um, homes now and then. Uh, Mom is in uh, that room with the customer. The book you lent me before. Thanks. Um, what did you think? Did you find it interesting? You couldn't finish again? I read everything until the middle, but as I kept reading, the less I understood what was written, and it made me sleepy. I wish you had something easier to understand. It feels like that's what I've been doing, though. Well, no need to force yourself to read. I don't want that. Um, I don't want that. Let me something else. I want to understand the stuff uh, you like, Akira. After all, we're going to get married someday. about marriage and my fucking love life. This sucks. The state of my love life sucks. Ugh. It's not fair. Then I'll look for something that's easier to read. Thanks. Enough! Shut, 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 shut! Why is this happening to me? Your mom seems to be in a bad mood today. Sorry, Yuko. Doesn't seem like we'll be able to study today. I'll see you off. Uh, let's go. Why is everything shaking like that? You are so foul. Ooh. It's Maury's mama said that. Let's go, Yuko. Sorry, Yuko. Am I foul? Of course not. Don't pay attention to what she says. 
Right. Uh, right? Right. Ooh, look at the clouds! But Mama was right, though. She saw the darkness inside of Yuko, right? She had to. But what's interesting is that was Chaco's mama, right? That we saw? Gotta love how this cycle is working, right? Because Chaco's mama wa uh, wanted to get with his Mori. And now Chaco wants to get with Reiji. And both of them don't want the asses. But, ooh, look at th th them clouds, though. It's so pretty. But this is very interesting, what is going on with Ismori's mom. It sucks that both parents are fucked up. They're coming from both, they're both coming from very dysfunctional families. If only they could just get away from there. Just run away. And... And Ismori's own way, he was trying to help Reiji escape. Early, earlier in, in the manga, after um, especially after what um, what happened when he stabbed after he stabbed him or yeah after he uh, attempted to kill himself, but is she like hmm is she like predicting that Yuko is going to kill her or something? Or that Yuko is going to corrupt her son? Like... They should have just left. It, she should have just left with him. If Yuko would have left with Izmori, things would have been so much... Di it would have been different, but... There's also the dark side of the uh, of you know being an idol and everything. There is that too. So you gotta wonder about how if that would have affected her. I don't know. Be in that's a very interesting thought, but oh god, Rio, this art is just giving me everything because remember what this chapter is called the day before the storm this gives this art speaks for itself this is the day before everything changed for the worse like everything was building up to this to this moment where yuko just fell where Yuko fell into Lilith, into Lilith mode, excuse me. And it just works so well, and it's so beautiful. Everything here is just so beautiful, Rio. I love this manga so much. I gotta do everything within my power to get this manga licensed. I do. This manga deserves to be licensed. The fact that it's not licensed really pisses me off. The fact that it's, it needs to be licensed so bad. The fact that this hasn't gotten an anime really ceases to amaze me. That, oh my god, not ceases me. That surprises me too. There are certain series that I'm very surprised haven't gotten an anime, and this is one of them. This series is just... Could you imagine if this series got an anime? And if it had, like, the studio... If it had, um, the... It would have to have the team that, um... The an art and animation team from Maiden Abyss to do it. It would have to have them. Because they're the... That team is the only one that can really 
capture the art, um, Rio's art for me. It's the only one that can because because uh, Rio's art's just the metaphorical art up in here and like the mood of this series. I feel like they're the only ones that can really capture it. As much as I love David Productions. I know people would be like, well, what about UFO? UFO table can't. Yeah, maybe UFO table could do it. Because I'm just thinking about the backgrounds in, uh, um, in Kimetsu no Yaiba. Oh, God. Maybe they could. Maybe they could do it, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe IG could as well if it's a, if it's a certain team from IG. But, man, if you get the team from Kimetsu no Yaiba... Um, that especially did like the background art on, um, uh, Shut No Abyss. It would be gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh man, it'd be so pretty. Actually, from what I've been seeing with, um, because I've seen some stuff from Summertime Rendering, that would be a good team to get on this one too. But god damn, this is so pretty. Oh god, Rio, you you deserve the world. You do. I hope you get I hope the series gets an anime. I really do. But the only thing is, in terms of the fuck if the West can't handle it. I just hope that if this does get an anime, this better not be censored. I just would be so mad if this series got censored. I can't handle the censorship that's going on. Fight. I've been fighting for it. I'm fighting against the censorship bullshit. But I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. What did you guys think of um, especially the art? You didn't even need the dialogue in this chapter. That's how gorgeous this art is that's how perfect this art is in terms of like the uh, in terms of like the lighting and everything and the expression it was just perfection and i love i love rio's art so much i can't wait to see what happens next week i can't wait to see not just that i can't wait to see what happens in terms of the in terms of yuko and Azmori and their how their story ends I really do hope that they get to die together. They deserve it. They deserve to get to die together. I really want them to have their their happy ending. Even though yeah, I know it would be sad because they're gonna die together. They they're gonna die, but I really want to see it. And it'd just be such a powerful moment. I'm probably just thinking about it. How I'm picturing it in my head, but Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Shun and Noah Best content. Few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist stall that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.